Hello everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to share with you House Mouse um, projects. And this is for the 2019 House Mouse collaboration with, with uh, Tina, who is Crafty Bean, who is me. Um, this was put on last year by Gracie21. And those of you who know Grace know that she is um, dealing with some health issues and some personal things that she has to take care of. Um, and so she asked me to take over the House Mouse collaboration this year. And I agreed. So um, all the information and all the other collaborators will be listed in the links down below in the description box. And how this works is every month on the third Saturday of every month, um, myself and all the other collaborators will be sharing House Mouse projects. Um, I'm a card maker. Most of my projects will probably be cards, um, but I can't say that I won't try um, something different. I could have a small project here and there. Depends on um, what's going on at the time. But most of my projects are cards because I am a card maker. But um, some of the other ladies um, do different things and some do cards. Um, so this is going to be lots of fun, you guys. Just if you want, please come and visit us once a month, every third Saturday of the month. And go through the list and watch all the collaborators. And um, once in a while, I might sneak a giveaway in there. Um, you just never know. I might have at the end of one of my videos. I'm not, I don't know what month it's going to be. But there might be here and there a few giveaways on my channel. I can't say for the other collaborators. Don't know what they're going to be doing. But on my videos on my channel, every once in a while, I'll sneak in... Um, a giveaway okay so that could happen and um, this is um, gonna be really fun you guys I'm looking forward to it and um, I'm looking forward to seeing all the other collaborators projects um, house mouse I have been in love with house mouse stamps since probably when I started um, scrapping and uh, making cards and stuff which is years and years ago and um, I just recently started collecting a lot of them since our Tuesday mornings have been having them in. Um, I did have a few from a long time ago, but I didn't have a whole lot. So anyway, without further ado, let me just share with you um, some of the products I used and then I'll share the cards that I created um, with the stamp that I picked out for this month. Um, I did share in my introduction to the House Mouse collaboration, I shared my two big huge uh, folders of stamps that I have uh, planned on using and I'm just going to randomly pick a couple stamps a month and just um, make cards with them. So if you want to see that I'll have a playlist and I'll have the introduction to the House Mouse collaboration that video I'll have that in the playlist and uh, for House Mouse and you can go over and check out my collection. So all right you guys so let me just share with you the first card that I made. I used this stamp set and it is a little two little mice with the raccoon and they're giving the raccoon ice cream really really cute little scene and um, my stamps are not in the packaging so I'm not sure what the name of this stamp is it doesn't have it on the outside I can't tell you what um, mice who these mice are either because I don't have the packaging but um that one has a notch in his ear and I think the one with the notch in his ear is that Maxwell I'm not positive I'll have to go ask Grace because she <laughs> she knows better than I do but um so yeah the first card I used this stamp um I used a couple of different dies um I just took out, I did use the Stitch CC Design Square Dies. Um, I used up these Prima Flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. And I used uh, the Bow Bunny Penelope Collection paper. So those are just a couple things that I used. And so the first card I'm going to share with you is this one here. Um, I wasn't very happy on the way the raccoon came out. 
Um, I don't know. The, these stamps are adorable, but boy, are they hard to color. So um, I cut the squares out with my square uh, CC Design Stitch Squares dies, and I layered it. The first layer, I put this um, paper here from that Penelope collection, and then I used a brown um, pattern paper, and then this was just a white cardstock, and then I colored it. So, um, and I used, these are the Prima flowers that I used. And then I have this cute little bow from Tuesday morning. So I put that on there. And then some, um, sprays. Some little, uh, what do they call these? Stamens. I used a couple of them and added them in there in the black and light blue. These are light blue. Um, then they're in the kitchen. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's kitchen because this looks like a cabinet. And then you got your floorboard, uh, your, yeah, floorboard, uh, what is it called? The, the section between the cabinet and the floor. It's a floorboard, um, piece, I think, right? A backing or something. And then the wood floor. So this is a really, really adorable little set. I really had a good time coloring it. And here's the little mouse feet and the raccoon, the little spoonful of ice cream. And then I put some enamel dots up here. So super, super cute, and I'll bring it in closer so you guys can just take a little peek. Okay, and I made this on an envelope. This is an envelope from the corrugated cards. Um, I made the card out of the envelope. This is the inside, so you can add a note. You could add a gift card. You could add little die cuts or, uh, you know, things like that in the little um, envelope itself and send it out as a little um you know a little gift a little happy mail or something like that i think the die cuts would fit in here really well so that's how that is and then i put a little velcro dot on there um and that's the card so that's that one with that using that stamp and then um my other card i use this stamp and it's a little chipmunk or a squirrel I don't know which one it is. I think it's a chipmunk. And um, here's the little mouse, and they're sharing jelly beans. But because it's not Easter, I decided to make the jelly beans into pistachios. So you'll see on my card that the little beans are, are colored in like pistachios. I thought that would be really cute because it isn't Easter. It's winter time. Um, so I didn't want to create like a spring Easter type card I wanted to do one um but I love this image so I just colored like I said the jelly beans into pistachios so there's that stamp and here is the card <clears throat> super super cute so I colored them in with Copics there's the little pistachios and then I used my distress oxides to do the blue around the background um, I have a, a cross-stitched die rectangle for the for the white and then I just added this brown polka dotted paper in the background and behind that the the main part of the card is made with um, this piece of paper here that's from paper house and it has like actual pieces of wheat on it I don't know you over here you could probably see it better you see the little wheat pieces and then I added some twine. I added this cute little burlap bow. And I think I got that from Tuesday morning. And I again, I ordered, I mean, ordered. <laughs> I added enamel dots in the corner. There's a gold glittery one and two, two different greens, which I thought went with the color of the pistachios. So super cute. And here's the inside. I just left them blank because I don't know when I'll use them or what I'll be using them for for the occasion. So um, there are my two cards, you guys. And um, I had lots and lots of fun using the two stamps and making the cards. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this collaboration. If you have any questions, I'll leave my email down below. 
um, if you have, you know, if you just want to leave a comment and thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. And please go over to all the other collaborators and visit their channels and see what they made because I can't wait to see. <laughs> all right, you guys have a fantastic uh, day. God bless. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.